Hey, what's going on? Uh, I was here to talk about the the Texans Dolphins game. Um, so yeah, we're we're now two and zero. Um, the game, you know, it wasn't exactly perfect. Um, there were some tense moments there, but um, we pulled it off. Um, like I said, it got kind of scary when it was uh, sixteen to ten, and Miami got down like to the red zone and. Um, couple of key stops by the defense and um, we forced them to kick a field goal there to um, keep our lead 16-13 and uh, the following drive shop threw a pretty pass to Andre in the end zone uh, making 23-13 and that was eventually the final score um, yeah you know this is one of those games that we would have lost for sure in the past you know not not saying that we turned the corner permanently but um, you know, I, I like how I, I like how we fought there. It, you know, uh, show some uh, resiliency. Um, as far as like some individual performances, um, you know, maybe maybe uh, Andre Johnson has spoiled me, man, because that one pass where Shaw threw uh, threw deep to him, and you know, I don't, I don't want to critique Andre too much, but I think that was a drop. Um, you know, like I said, maybe like I expect great things, and you know, maybe I expect too much out of Andre. But I was kind of like, "Wow, dude, you you dropped that." You know, maybe, maybe it's just me. Like I said, maybe I expect too much. You know, but it's one of those like, man, stuff like that you kind of expect from Andre nowadays. But you know, like like I said, I hate harping or critiquing Andre because. He is great, you know. He's the, without a doubt, the best player in Texans history. So, but you know, he made up for it at the end, and um, he had a good game there. I think uh, seven catches with ninety plus yards and a touchdown, of course. Um, Arian Foster, from what I understand, he could have returned to the game, but um, the coaching staff was like super duper extra cautious with the hamstring. And they decided to keep him out in the second half. Um, with that being said, um, man, Ben Tate, a another great game. Um, his um, his running there uh, late in the fourth quarter allowed us to, uh, you know, uh, run the clock out eventually uh, and win the game. Um, you know, he, he ran like, and it wasn't like he was breaking out. Um, and getting long gains, he was like, it, it was like grinding, grinded out yards, and you know, for a rookie or technically a rookie, that's that's a great job by Mr. Uh, ben Tate there. Um, so yeah, you know, hopefully the hamstring deal with Arian Foster gets solved soon, and um, yeah, a one-two punch uh, with Foster and Ben Tate, that's uh, that's pretty lethal, um, you know. What else? Um, I guess our uh, domin oh, yeah, it is domination. Uh, our domination of the Dolphins continues. We are now six and zero against them um, all time. The they're the only team that we haven't lost to, and um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, I don't know when those guys are going to be on the schedule again, but next time we see them, hopefully, the trend continues. Um, like I said, you know, we didn't play the prettiest game. It was far from being perfect, but a win is a win is a win. It's all that matters. We are now 2-0 with a huge, huge game coming up next week at New Orleans. And, um, you know, I don't know if you guys saw my, um, my Texans, um, preview that I did at the beginning of the year where I said that, um, you know we were gonna lose this game at New Orleans. No, you know I honestly I, I still think we we you know we we take the loss this weekend. But now I wouldn't be surprised if we win either. You know, not trying to sound like a homer, but the way we played the first two games, you know, I'm I'm encouraged. Um, you know, like I said. 
we're gonna be underdogs. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we pull it off. Um, so yeah, hopefully, um, you know, I mean, to beat the Saints, we're gonna need like a, a perfect game, especially with the game being at New Orleans. So, but yeah, but that, that's another topic for another day. Um, like I said, we're now two and zero. Um, you know, I mean, this is worth mentioning. We were also two and zero last year, and we we remember how last year ended. So, hopefully, um, we turn that around this year. Um, and it starts this Sunday at New Orleans. So, yeah, two and zero, go Texans. <laughs>